What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my Christ subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is free general collective reading. Caps inside to everybody in between. Don't forget, don't forget the basics. Power is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Free general collective reading. So it's very important. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. I received another channel message. I'm going to go to bed after this. Or at least hopefully. So um, I'm going to deliver it. Um, it's free general collective reading. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. Um, it's a very private, confidential way to donate. I don't blab. Do business. Just saying. Um, uh, oh yeah. Um, thanks everybody for all the new subscribers. We're at 10,800 and 20 right now, I do believe. So thanks for all the love and support to the channel. Okay, so the channel message I received was um, heavy masculine energy. I just want to say that. A Cancer masculine, a Virgo masculine, and a Scorpio masculine that was heavily, heavily, heavily energy harvesting off of a particular feminine energy cannot do so anymore, and they're about to start getting extremely ill soon. That's what I heard. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates um, for you. And we have Magician in the mirror. And a Taurus. And a Taurus. I just heard Taurus, though. I didn't hear masculine. So you plug it in, how it resonates. So a Cancer masculine, Virgo masculine, Scorpio masculine, and a Taurus. So... Three mat. I feel they're. I heard masculine, so I think they're straight up masculines with phenol parts, or it could be a femme that takes on heavy masculine. But I think in this case, um, for a lot of these cases, excuse me, it's actually a masculine energy with a phenol part. But you plug in your own life how it resonates, and then I heard a Taurus, so that could be a masculine or a femme Taurus. I just heard Taurus, so you plug it in how it resonates. But they were heavily energy harvesting off of a femme energy. So they were uh, trying to suck her energy dry. They either did suck her energy dry or they were attempting to. Um, they were energy harvesting off of her. Um, anybody, anybody doesn't know what energy harvesting is? Um, it's basically, I'll Google definition it. I know what it is, but it's basically energy sucking off of someone. It's basically what that is. Someone that has good energy, that's in good health, good spirits, um, good energy. Usually people that energy harvest off of others are not, they, they're negative energy. So they like to feed off of positive energy, i.e. the fem energy with positive energy, good health, positive energy, lively, vivacious, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They want, they want her energy basically is what that is. That's energy harvesting in a nutshell. I'm going to read it per Google definition, but that's basically it. But we've got four people in here that was doing this. Uh, for some of you guys, it could be one person that was doing this. For some, it could be two plus. Um, but I think how you're about to see this manifest in 3D, which is our everyday world, they're about to start getting extremely ill in some shape, form, or fashion. That's how you're going to see it manifest. So they're about to start getting very sick because they can't, I heard they can't do it anymore. They've been blocked in some shape, form, or fashion. So I think this, um, Fem energy has blocked them from her life. Um, that's exactly what I think. Energy harvesting is a process by which energy is derived from external sources, captured and stored for, um, oh, hold on. That's the wrong definition. Okay, it's giving me very, very, like, not the definitions I'm looking for here. It's giving me, like, um, very scientific um, definitions. Basically, what I said is basically what that is in the um, everyday 3D world. You can steal people's money, energy, or time, basically. 
They were stealing somebody's energy. People in the spiritual realm and just in general, if they are a negative energy, if, if they practice dark arts or they are sickly or they just, um, and they they find somebody that's in good spirits, good health, good vivacious quality, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They just want to suck their energy because energy transfers. I emit energy. You emit energy. Everybody in their mama emits energy. Do you emit positive energy or negative energy? Do you practice on the dark side or the light side? Whoever these people are, they're dark side for sure. Um, dark side for sure, for sure, for sure. Because light side beings, divine beings do not even energy harvest off of others because one, they don't need to. And two, they had their own positive energy to emit to the world. So the only ones that do it are the dark side ones, is what I'm trying to say. So um, you plug it in how it res resonates. So I heard Cancer Masculine, Scorpio Masculine, and um, Cancer Masculine, Scorpio Masculine, and Virgo Masculine, and a Taurus. I feel this could be a Masculine or Fem Taurus. You plug it in how it resonates and Heavy Masculine Energy over here. Or Fems that take on Very Heavy Masculine. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, but they can't do it anymore. They cannot do it anymore. I heard they're about to start getting very ill. So, like I said, you're going to see it manifest in 3D. They're going to start getting very freaking sick, basically, in some shape, form, or fashion. Now, that could be STDs, STIs. That could be medical exacerbations. That could be new medical um, conditions, diagnoses. I mean, you plug it in how it resonates. It, Everybody's different, so however you see this manifest in the 3D for whoever these people are in your life. Hopefully it's not you. Magician in the mirror. And this is Torn Energy, by the way. Quick, 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 quick manifestation coming of these medical illnesses. Okay, I heard quick, quick, quick manifestation coming of these medical illnesses. Some STDs, some exacerbation of alcoholism and drug addict use. Oh, crap. I heard um, some STDs and some ex exacerbation. I'm assuming untreatable, um, not untreatable, but not treated STDs. Um, and some exacerbation of um, alcoholism and drug use. Um, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Yeah, these are definitely dark side beings over here. Definitely. Um, I heard alcoholism. I didn't hear social drinking. You know, social drinking is a completely different ballgame than alcoholism. I mean, alcoholism is a completely different ballgame. So, alcoholism, yikes. Um, drug use, yikes. And, and STDs. Now, you can get an STD, you can get treated for it. But there's different levels, though, to the STDs. There's some that are way more serious than others. Um, like, HIV and AIDS is like the top or up there with the, I mean, if I was to get any STD, it wouldn't, I, I wouldn't want that one is what I'm saying. For sure, for sure. Um, but, you know, they can be treated. I feel like they haven't went and got treatment, medical treatment in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, or they delay treatment. Um, however that resonates. Or they're not taking their medication. But however that resonates, it, some STDs, some alcoholism, some drug use. Some, it can be something else, possibly. But I think they're about to look back and realize the choices they have made in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I feel for a lot of these people, masculine energies and possibly a femme or masculine Taurus, um, they obviously, I think they had these medical, the alcoholism, the drug addict issues and the STDs um, before they started energy harvesting off this femme energy. Now, however they uh, were able to energy harvest off of her, I'm not sure. Maybe she, um, is, uh, maybe she was a co-worker. Maybe she was a family member, they were just around to try to suck the energy dry, and, and she figured the shit out, blocked it. Maybe she was a co-worker and she transferred units or transferred locations or quit her job or what have you. Maybe she's a neighbor or was a neighbor and she realized that shit and she cut communication. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. Maybe she was a friend. 
she realized that she cut communication. Uh, maybe you're the friend that she was doing, um, that they were doing this to. You plug it in however it resonates. But I think these uh, masculine energies and possible femme and masculine over here, or masculine, um, they're looking back on the choices they've made. And I think they were energy harvesting off you, femme energy. If you're the femme energy this is resonating with, I think they were energy harvesting off you because they were already ill. They didn't want to get sicker. But now they, that they can't energy harvest off of you and you figure the shit out, out it's about to speed up for them, medical-wise. But it wasn't your fault that they cho chose to make these decisions. And that's just the truth for real, for real. I'm serious. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. I'll pull one more card. Spirit messages you have perspective. Patience reversed is what we got. Number 16 could be a very significant number of one's life. Number 16. It could be a possible age of you or somebody you're connected to. Possible lottery number. Possible day of birth number. Possible social security card number. Possible green card number. Possible day of birth number. Um, possible jersey number. And a Gemini masculine. And a Gemini, and a Gemini masculine, I heard. Okay, good God. That's a lot of people. And a Gemini masculine. So, Gemini masculine, Scorpio masculine, Virgo masculine, Cancer masculine, and a Taurus masculine or femme. So, a lot of people. Ener energy harvesting. And that's just the truth. Um, wow. But some kind of medical conditions are about to start really, really speeding up in some shape, form, or fashion. Some drugs, some alcohol, some STDs. Some something else, possibly. For one particular person, it is cancer. And it's about to go very, very, very quickly. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, this is serious. And I heard for one particular person, it is cancer, and it's going to go quickly. Oh, my God. God, oh, this is strong. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so we have patients reversed. So I think the patients reversed in this situation is the medical conditions about to go quick. I mean, they're just about to go quick. One, it's cancer. I didn't hear what kind of cancer. So you have to plug that in however that resonates if you're dealing with these people in your life in some shape or fashion. Hopefully it's not you. Maybe you're connected to one of these people. And I feel for some of you guys, in some of these situations, you're the femme energy that blocked your energy. So maybe you're going to hear about this, possibly, for some. But one is cancer, one is STDs, one is, I think, untreated STDs. One is some alcoholism, one is drug use. So um, you plug it in how it resonates, but this is the patient's reverse if the medical condition's about to really start speeding up. No more patients in the situation. It's about to speed it up. They cannot energy harvest anymore. It's about to, I think in the past, it slowed it down. Because you had such positive energy, fem energy. Um, but now they cannot do it. So now their karma is about to cycle around for them in the form of their medical conditions about to just go fast. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. One person is about to get so ill, they're not going to want to get out of bed. One will not be able to get out of bed. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, my God. This is so serious. Our, um, in one of these people, their condition is going to get so serious, they're not going to want to get out of bed. And in one of these uh, situations, one person will not be able to get out of bed. Holy good Lord, this is serious. It might be the one with cancer, possibly. Um, maybe they know they have cancer. Maybe they don't. I'm not sure, but we've got at least five people over here. Um, it might be more for some of you guys' cases. You plug it in how it resonates. Um, you know, it might be 100 Gemini masculines. It might be 50 Scorpio masculines. It might be two Tauruses. I mean, I'm not sure. You have to plug it in how it resonates, but dear God Almighty. 
one is going to be so bad they're not going to want to get out of bed and one is going to be so bad they're not going to be able to get out of bed a lot of call outs are about to occur for some a lot of call outs are about to occur for some oh my lord a lot of call outs are about to occur for some so I'm assuming for some. So I'm assuming maybe some of these people work and some they don't is what I'm assuming because um, I heard for some. So I'm assuming maybe some of these people work and maybe some they don't. Um, I'm assuming for the ones that work, maybe um, they're going to start calling out because they're they're not going to be able to get up to go to bed, um, go to work, or they're not going to want to. How that resonates, dear God Almighty. All right, well let me see if I hear anything else, dear Lord. Okay, I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, I hope this helped. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.